We're about to do a, well, let me take this out. This is fennel. If you guys have never seen fennel bulb or fennel, this is it. It kind of, I don't know, it kind of looks more like an onion than anything else. It looks like a tulip bulb. It's weird. It's got a very bulby shape. Now, sometimes when you get it, it will have dirt on it, so you do want to wash your vegetables as normal. It's obviously. just grown in the ground. Yeah. So these are the fronds on it, guys. You want to keep these just to add into your salad. They don't really have a lot of flavor, but they just add green and niceness to it, I guess. There's nothing crazy about it. Always can't, you always want niceness. Guys, any citrus fruit you have is great for this because we're going to make a vinaigrette really quick. Um, I just make really basic ones because I don't really know what I'm doing. So. Also, you don't really need, you don't really need that much. Yeah. So you got one of each. Perfect. So again, there's probably a proper way to cut this. I just kind of hack at it and hope for the best. And go for it. So there are, um, you can see that really like white part. We're gonna take that out. That's kind of a bit too hard for what we're trying to go for. <laughs> slices if you want it's fine um, but the idea here is, is we're just trying to add, <laughs> add bits of orange to this uh, and then we'll make a quick vinaigrette that we'll just let it sort of sit uh, I'm gonna add some parm but before we do that um, we have the fronds from our uh, <laughs> fennel that we're gonna use because it kind of looks nice uh, it doesn't really add any flavor. It's more about color and texture. Um, and we're using more of the, I don't know what you call it, vegetable, plant, whatever, bulb. We're just using more of what we already bought. So we're just gonna do this and give it a rough chop. And we're gonna add some cheese. So we're gonna do olive oil. Dijon. Uh, yeah, Dijon's perfect. I'll do some olive oil. Um, we don't need too much, but enough to coat most of this. There we go. I don't know how much that is. I don't measure shit. I'm sorry if you guys want a recipe. Just <laughs> have to figure, figure it out for yourself. You have to figure it out for yourselves. Uh, we'll do a bit of mustard. Yeah. We're gonna do some lime. And again, this is like a really, really simple one. A lot of lime. A bit of lemon. We'll add that too. This is basically a citrus vinaigrette to go with what we already have because we already have orange. We can add, we'll add some more of our basil because we have extra, why not? Who cares? That's the fun. Um, I'm gonna mix this real quick. So the mustard, oh sorry, I'm getting some splashes on the thing. The mustard just helps emulsify guys so it makes it like it kind of blends our oil with our, our uh, vinaigrette there. Oh. And that's all it is, guys. Like, that's our vinaigrette. This is kind of what it looks like. Kind of green and soupy and yellowy, but it doesn't look great. <laughs> but it's, it, it is tasty. It doesn't make it look very good. That's okay. And again, you don't want to overdo it with the uh, dressing. I find overdressed salads are never that good because all you taste is the dressing. The stuff in the salad is supposed to shine more than the salad dressing. Yeah, and you just want it to be pretty straightforward and easy. So right now we got this. And voila. Me, don't call me, don't call me. Let him get it. He's trying to be nice. Even the cat likes it, guys. Come on. <laughs> 